Jordan. I am a Wrangler at Creators Institute. Um, and we're going to be talking about chapter component reviews, specifically for nonfiction, but I'm also going to touch on fiction as well, just a little bit, because um, they are a little different in, you know, their content. Um, but the way that we do reviews for chapters is a little bit different than how um, review review work in general kind of works. We have a specific list of components for, you know, DEs to use, and these components are used to kind of determine where a chapter is in the developmental editing process. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Um, I'm going to be using you know, a document from one of our editors um, who are, you know, they're actually in there using the lists. Um, so the first thing I want to mention is that the component review can look a couple of different ways, um, like when you're actually doing the review. But the way that this editor has done it, Quinn, she does a really good job of really laying everything out for the writer and for the editors that come next. That's probably the biggest thing to take away from this. Um, it doesn't just go to the writer. It's there to help the next editor kind of parse out what needs to be worked on more, what's, you know, needs you know, not as much attention um, in the revisions process. So um, it's really good to lay everything out very clearly and using the component language. That's really what hinges it. If you're saying chapter components, if you're using the actual components in your language, um, it's going to be way easier for the next editor to understand what we worked on with the writer and what they still need to do, you know, in the revisions process. So what is all this about? Um, if you look at the bottom of Quinn's, she likes to do this checklist approach. Personally, I really like it. I think it makes a lot of sense and it also saves you a little bit of um, typing time. Uh, you can do it in a wrap-up comment as well. I've seen people do that, the list approach in the actual wrap-up comment in the comments bar. That's also totally fine to do, but this is, you know, just a quicker way to kind of do it. You can make small notes, but the whole list is already there. Um, it's a very thorough approach, and it saves you a little bit of time, too. Um, and do be sure to put that at the bottom so that the writer can like read through everything first before they get to your actual like component feedback. Um, but to get into it, uh, you'll see here that this author um, wrote, you know, a pretty decently sized chapter. Um, Quinn made notes throughout about, you know, Chicago manual style, which is needed and necessary for the nonfiction books in particular, but you know, you get the straight fiction book that needs a citation. Um, so be sure to mention that we use Chicago manual of style, link the document um, when you can, um, and your writer will know. Uh, they will probably get sick of it, in fact. Um, but you know, she made comments throughout, and you know, by the time that she got to the end, she gave her wrap up in a comment here at the bottom. Again, you could also do this in the actual comments bar, um, but this is fine too. Um, and then she goes straight into the component review. So what we are looking for with the component review in particular is um, really mentioning what needs to be added, like which components are not there. Obviously, Quinn has a little comment for all of them here, and you can totally do that as well to give some encouragement. Like you did this part well, this is a component, you know, to, you know, praise yourself on, you did a good job here, try and replicate it later on. Um, 
But for these missing ones, let's go for the entirely missing one, the secondary interview. Um, be sure to mention why it's missing, how they can fix it, and just any other additional notes that you have. Maybe they have it in there and it just isn't effective. So say you do have this, but you could have done it better, here's how. Always give a reason why. Um, but what you wanna do is really cover all of the components that are missing so that the writer knows, okay, in revisions, um, I need to fix this, this, and this. Um, and be as detailed as you can with how they can fix it or why they don't have it in the first place. So these are all, you know, things that the writer will use later in the process. So it's really important that we get it on solid footing um, as quickly as we can. Um, now for when you can start using the chapter components, that's kind of between you and your writer. Um, we take a, you know, meet them where they are approach. So if you have a writer who's coming in writing in full chapters just immediately, then start doing the component reviews as soon as you can. Um, do introduce the lists to them first. And just to quickly tell you where you can find them, um, if you go to the DE documents library and go into resources for writers that DEs need um, and go to chapter information, you'll find the nonfiction, creative nonfiction and fiction. Uh, checklists here. Um, if you're looking for poetry stuff, it's in the actual poetry tools, and we do have a little checklist for that one too. Um, poetry poem checklist, but those are where you can find those. Uh, do tell your writer what the components are before you just start doing the review for it. <laughs> so probably be like, wait, hold on, what, what is this? Um, so do share that list with them first and then you can actually start doing those reviews. If you can, go over it with them on a call. If they're eager beavers and they're just go, 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 and they don't wanna wait for a call, just copy, you know, make a copy of those checklists, put it in, in your folder and share that copy with the writer. Um, and then the next time you talk to them on the phone, talk, talk through it with them. Um, so that's kind of what you do for nonfiction. Big points to take away. Make sure to give the why. Make sure to mention citations, um, and make sure to use the actual component language. Okay, now that we've gone over nonfiction, I do want to touch on fiction just very briefly. Um, so with fiction, things are a little different. Um, you're going to be looking a lot more at nuances rather than uh straight up like this is a fact this is a source this is a personal narrative things are a little bit more nuanced with fiction um not that they aren't with nonfiction and especially creative non um but you know things are a little bit more cut and dry on the nonfiction side of things um, but for fiction you have to get a little creative in your thinking for some things so for example you know, not every single chapter is going to have um, a character that acts as antagonist, right? Um, and it could be an intentional decision on the part of the writer to say, I don't want an antagonist in this chapter at all. Um, in that case, what you do is you say, um, what you can just highlight this, make a little comment. Uh, the shortcut to do that, by the way, is Control Shift C lifesaver. Um, just make a comment. Um, I know this is intentionally out, but just wanted to note that this component is not there. And Something along those lines, just to say, yep, I got what you were doing. I get that you don't want it there. I'm still gonna mention that it doesn't have it. Just so the next person knows, the next editor knows, this was the plan all along. <laughs> it 
what we don't want to see happen is when the writer gets to the next editor and their pieces just get torn apart because they don't have certain components that they intentionally left out. So just be clear that, you know, say this is int intentionally left out and it is missing for that reason. Um, that way the next person knows it's just entirely transparent and it's just easy. <laughs> Our goal for the student is to make the next part of the program as easy as we can for them. So really do the groundwork of laying things out and make sure to be as transparent as you can in your feedback, not only for the writer's benefit, but for the next person as well. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. You will sometimes run across that with nonfiction as well. There might be um, some nonfiction chapters that maybe don't need a personal story. Would it probably benefit from one? Yes. But in every single thing, like every single chapter, is some your writer going to have a personal experience to tie to that thing? Maybe not. And if they know it's intentional, they want it to be intentional, just say, I know you intentionally left this out. Thanks for playing. Um, and, you know, really discuss that with your writer, because what you don't want to do is say, oh, is this intent? Is this intentional that you left this out? I'm going to assume that it is. No, assume that they want it there assume that it needs to be there unless they tell you otherwise um, and really go in depth with that conversation with your writer. Um, but that was really, that's really it. Um, good luck and let your Wrangler and Shonda know if you have any questions.